Jesus arrives at Martha's house with his entourage of, of disciples, uh, 12 disciples. So they've come to be there for a while for this teaching session and, and for dinner. Uh, I mean, just think about that in and of itself. When was the last time that you had like 13 people over to your house? You know, uh, that's kind of a big deal. Like, what do you do when you're having a group of people coming over to your house? Like, you get the house ready, right? There's, there's cleaning, there's maybe even rearranging some furniture to make space. Uh, I mean, there's things that you've got to do for dinner. You've got to go to the store to get food. You know, then there's like the prep for the vegetables. I mean, you've got to cook some, some meat. By the way, I saw this really funny sign when I was in Denver. It said, uh, you know, if we're not supposed to eat animals, why are they made of meat? Um, so just if you're vegetarian, it's okay. I just thought that was fun and interesting. So there's meat to cook, and, and then, you know, there's bread to bake. You know, there's a lot to do to prepare for having a big group of people that come over to your house. A lot of work, right? So Martha, she, she took on that work, and she was, she was good at it. I think verse 38 actually commenced her for and speaks honorably of her. It says, Martha welcomed them into her house. Man, she was a, a welcoming woman. Very hospitable. She welcomed him. She showed Jesus and his disciples good hospitality. I, I'm sure like right when they walked in, she's like, oh, can I get you anything to drink? And, and, and they're like, sure. And so she goes and gets 13 glasses of water or wine or, you know, whatever your preferred beverage is. Uh, Martha here, she's a really good example of someone who has the gift of hospitality. Maybe some of you didn't know it, but the Bible says that hospitality is actually uh, serving people as a special gift that God gives to some people. Not everyone has it. Let me read this passage. We're all different, and we all have different gifts that are meant to work together as one body in Jesus' church. So here's from Romans 12, 4 through 8. As in one body, we have many members, and the members do not have all the same functions, so we, though Many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, that's the servant, this hospitality thing in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, that's encouragement, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. So you see, We've all got different gifts. We've got different fingerprints, different makeup and complexion. God's given us different spiritual gifts he means to use for the common good. As Christians, really, there's, we're all servants at some level, and we serve in different ways with a heart of service. But there's certain people who have this special gift of service, where it talks about that, that serving. It's, you could translate the gift of hospitality. That's Martha. It's Martha. She's a servant. 